Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Technicational. My name is Peyton Wilmot and today we're looking on cheap old phone you can buy because I'm tired for hear people comment and message me and say Yo man, you to be your expensive phone you are doing a man. You know I'm to the poor man them, you know the phone where old but still good. Do some review upon that no man, man not have money for the A51 and them thing there. So... <clears throat> Here we are reviewing the J6 2018. Still a good phone if you can find it. I think you can find it at Flow or you can buy it online on Amazon. But definitely not going to be able to get this in the Samsung store because as you know, the J them discontinued and is the A them a take over. But anyhow, that's not what we're talking about. We're here to review the J6 2018 where you can get for a decent price right now. And this is like lower than mid-range price because them fears out the J's them. So if you can get your hand upon this, you can get a decent mid-range phone for go and feel up until you have money for buy one of the A's them. Okay, let's start off with design and build quality for the J6 2018. Okay, so it's nothing fancy that you will get on the A's them right now. No Infinity O display, but the phone itself feel good for holding on the hand. Also, you get a fingerprint scanner at the back, you get a 30 megapixel camera at the back as well, with a flash. You see, the specs not so bad so far. On the right side of the phone, you get a loudspeaker, yeah, loudspeaker on the right, and you get your power button to the right as well. At the left side of the phone, you get your volume up and volume down. And to the bottom of the left, because it's a dual SIM phone, you have two SIM trays and a dedicated memory card slot for your SD card. Not so bad. The bottom of the phone has a micro USB port and it also has a headphone jack. Headphone jack! Celebrate! Oh, wrong video. Anyway, so micro USB port for charge the phone so the top of the phone don't have nothing no nice cancellation nothing it just clean and the front of the phone you have you have your front camera which is 8 megapixel and you have a dedicated flash you have to love how the phone just looks simple even by today's standard it still look decent enough that people won't think you have a 2018 phone and it build solid, I, I, I'm not sure if that's a plastic or metal, but it feels solid enough. It feel like metal, I'm not going to quote it as metal though, but it feel nice. Alright, so, so far so good, the build quality and design for the J6 2018, not so bad in 2020. So folks, before we start talking about performance, make we talk about specs. And I want you to be kind, folks. These are specs from May 2018. So just temper your expectations. Okay, so it has a 5.6 inch Super AMOLED display and a 720p resolution. It is Gorilla Glass. It doesn't specify which one though. The phone comes with our, our Android Oreo, which is Android 8.0. And it's upgradable to Android 9.0, which is Android Pie. It has an Exynos 78070 or 7870 processor, which is an octa-core processor running at 1.6 gigahertz, and it has a Mali GPU. It comes with 32 gigs of internal space and 3 gigs of RAM. You can also buy this version in 64 gigs of space and 4 gigs of RAM. And as I said before, you have a 30 megapixel camera at the front and an 8 megapixel camera at the back. It also can video record 1080p video, no 4K, and it comes with radio. Half a love the phones them with radio, not even the, the high-end phones them these days, them I put radio in it. And the battery is a 3000 mAh battery. And if you do the calculation, a 3000 mAh battery running on a 720p screen equals some really serious good battery life. So that concludes specs. Make we go into performance. 
So let's just jump right into performance. Now, yes, this is a 2018 phone, but it handles Asphalt 9 without no problem. It run um, apps in the background, switch between apps, no problem. It's just now and again, you will see a small stutter when you have a multiple of demanding apps in the background. The phone somewhat takes two to three seconds to switch between each app. but as I said before, you're playing the regular games that are out now, smooth, with no effort, no overheating, no stuttering, and as you can see right here, may even win one of the races them in the asphalt. So in performance, it is a good daily driver. So we're at the part where we talk about camera quality, and yes, how does a phone from 2018 stack up with cameras in 2020? Well, most people might not realize this, but there are not a lot of innovation between two years of cameras and smartphone. It's just recently we started to see some crazy aspects on cameras, aka the Galaxy S20 Ultra with the 108 megapixel. Anyway, so. The 13 megapixel camera at the back takes really good photos for a budget phone in the day. It takes okay photos in the night. The selfie camera is pretty good in the day and decent in the night as well. And you can see all of my proofs because you can see the photos that I actually took with the camera. So all in all, the J6 2018 is an okay camera budget phone. So the final thing we're going to talk about is battery life and I'm going to be honest with you, the 3000 mAh battery that's in the J6 2018 might seem small but I don't know if it's the combination of the resolution of the screen and the processor but I'm getting two days, sometimes even three days if I actually want to stretch it out. So the battery life on this phone is pretty amazing and as you can see I wasn't easing up, I was playing game, playing music, playing radio and I still get two to three days of full use. So what are my final thoughts on the J6 2018? Well I have to be honest folks this is a phone that came out in 2018 so it's a two-year-old phone so i can honestly say that this phone now gonna get upgraded past android 9 which is android pi but apart from that the cameras are still okay the battery life is still amazing and you have still a fingerprint scan at the back although it's slow so yeah have some sort of security that is still future proof in 2020 but the biggest thing is that you're getting all of this package for a very low price because these phones are not the in thing anymore and it's not being built for people no more so once you find this by amazon ebay or anywhere you can find this it's going to be a ridiculously affordable price Given the size is 32 gigs or 64 gigs if you can buy it, I don't think somebody can full up this with WhatsApp videos and porn within a month. As long as you're cautious with the videos that you save, you're not supposed to have no space problem. So thank you guys for watching and always I look out for your comments, I look out for your suggestions, and this has been a full review of the J6 2018 as a 2020 budget phone. Thank you guys, subscribe, and tell your friends. Peace. Snakes in the grass, you gotta watch where you step. Blood on the leaves, you either kill or be killed. When there's food on the table, you either eat or you starve. And when the shots in the water, you either sink or you swim. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there. It's a jungle out there.